What's going on, everybody? I hope everyone's having a fantastic evening, a fantastic afternoon, a fantastic pre noon, no matter where you are in the world. I'm a song piker, and this is the Hassan Ivy broadcast coming to you live from sunny California, Los Angeles, folks. We are live and alive, and I hope all the boys, I hope all the girls, and I hope all the MBs are having a fantastic one because today is a beautiful day. It's a gorgeous day here in sunny California, Los Angeles. It is 88 degrees, dude. It's 88 degrees and sunny here on a Wednesday morning. Wednesday, August 10th, 2022, 11.26 a.m. Now, I'm a little late and I apologize. Uh, part of the reason why I'm late is because, you know, I was just fucking sitting outside in the sun. Taking it all in, baby. That's right. It's fucking Wednesday, bruv, and I'm a little light, and it's all right. It's so good then. Bring back Buzz Cut a song? That's not happening. Okay. <clears throat> um, too blessed to be stressed? Yeah. Uh, part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news, but that was weird. Hold on. God damn it. Bro, I swear to God, this this house becomes the chamber of commerce when my mom is here, okay? Like, when I'm living by myself, oftentimes I have friends that, you know, come and stay with me for a little bit or whatever, right? And it's it's fine, whatever, okay? But when my mom is here, dude, it's literally, like, the house turns into the chamber of commerce. This... I mean, I got Chris Smalls coming later, okay? I got Chris Smalls of Amazon Labor Union coming later. And I'm going to ask him, like, how will he, how will he, like, how will he unionize this distribution facility? Because this is basically one of the branches of Amazon's main distribution hubs with the amount of activity. My mom, like, online shopping, I thought was you know a thing for like the younger generation or whatever it's like no my mom online shops dude like there are probably there is probably a steady flow of delivery drivers coming in and out of my gates all day every day when my mom is here okay it's wild it was just that that was uh, another package was delivered right as i Right as I fucking uh, uh, started the broadcast. It's addictive. I don't know what it is. Are you saying women be shopping? That's right. The American people are tired of women. And women be shopping. I haven't been to a grocery store or mall in over a year easily. Yeah. Are you saying you're the tailors for the delivery packages? I have to go to my mom's every weekend to break down Amazon box first. Shit's wild. It's, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of wild. I would like to be shopping some Hasanabi merch. Yeah, that's coming. That's coming in the future. Do not worry. Um, anyway, regardless, this is a part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news and I tell you what's going on in my life and what's happening. You know what I mean? Of course, Windows updated my fucking computer. And the moment that Windows updates your computer, God forbid, it's over. It's a wrap. Everything on your sound audio... Everything, all of your audio devices have changed now magically. It's so wonderful. I love updating. I love updating my windows. So everything is broken now. Everything is back to default. But like default was, default was something different, I guess. Or now default is something different. And that's just unrelated. But 
This is part of the broadcast where I tell you about my personal news, right? It's where I tell you a little bit about what's going on in my life. And there's on, honestly, there's nothing going on in my life except for the fact that I've been watching Villain Saga. That shit's really good. I also started watching with my mom and Marat, um, who were here last night. I uh, started watching uh, the new Jamil Maz. This is for the fucking four Turkish people in the chat right now, but. I started watching uh, the new Jim Yilmaz show, the Adishan Kuneri or whatever. I watched a little bit of The Prey and I thought to myself, this is too political. There's an indigenous woman as the main character. This is, this is politics. This is political. Nothing more political than this. You know what I mean? Anyway. Uh, have you seen the bear yet? It's really good. I've heard nice things about the bear as well. Lots of memes about the bear as well. So maybe I'll watch it. But anyway, maybe I'll watch the bear. We'll see. Prey is only an hour and a half long. Why does it sure look like Andy's wallpaper from Toy Story? Uh, this is the, this is the second half of the Kith shit that I bought. The other day, remember when I went shopping and then I felt uncomfortable and awkward because I like ripped the, the, the $400 pants tassels. So I was like, I might as well buy something that way. They won't like, even if they notice that I ripped the tassels, like they'll know, even if they notice that I ripped the tassels, they'll, they'll be like, oh, well, at least he's like buying shit. Kind of seems like men be shopping. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. It's only, it's only different. It's only different if a woman's doing it though. Have you watched the rehearsal by Nathan Fielder on HBO yet? Yes, I have. Please don't watch the bear. I have PTSD from working as a line cook. Anyway. Can we go to Toro and see the outfit here? Look. Tuck it in. Maybe not tucked in. That boy built like Mount Fuji. Showing your age with the air, uh, blah, 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 blah. showing your age with the shirt tuck. Um, I'm not 68, man. I'm looking like a Tame Impala album cover. Holy shit, it's so easy to forget how big you are sitting down, Lamont. That's kind of the point, my friend. Anyway, so damn, dude, you're looking fit. Your diet's definitely paying off. Thank you, folks. I'm at 250. I was at 252 yesterday for the first time ever. I hit like the lowest weight. And then, but that's always when I'm like right after a workout, fasted. Um, not a lot of water weight in my body because I've sweat a lot. Um, and then today, I, I for the first time uh, before, because I didn't work out today, I, I weighed myself. I was 254 still. I mean, it's, it's going well. I mean, when I started working out last year, I was 285 pounds, I think. So oh my God, how did you post this so quick? What the fuck? Men be scared to dress, but Hassan the Hunt is up in my eyes. Like that's that, that literally just happened. Yeah. 
If you tuck, it needs the tight tuck. Yeah. Um. Anyway, thank you to Macy's for the fat playlist. Um. Would you fast to lose some pounds? I used to. I used to do fasting. But uh, I, I used to fast, but it's not good for me anymore. And, and listen, your body changes dramatically over the course of many, many years, right? And what worked for me as a diet when I was uh, 25, 24 years old may not necessarily work for me as a diet when I'm 31. And um, for that reason, you know, I've actually lowered my uh, daily uh, caloric intake. Um, I've also... You know, I've things change drastically when you turn 30. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that straight up. You know, your muscle and fat percentages. Uh, no. Anyway, um, fuck, I can't even talk about my personal news. But there isn't really anything going on personally. Do you have a physician or a trainer? I have a personal trainer. Um, yeah, I have a, I have a, I have a really cool uh, workout method now that I never did before. It's called being rich. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. But um, you know, it's not like Hollywood rich, obviously, because those motherfuckers like they get results in like a day and a half. It feels like. Okay, buddy, that's just flexing. No, that's a joke about how fucking hard it is to diet and and work out when you are constantly fucking working and don't have a lot of money to be able to hire people to literally take care of that for you. But, um, I mean, my I had my best body when I literally was younger and was working nonstop, but was working out on my own. So it can be done. Real celebs go to like fucking med spas and shit. Yeah, also real celebrities fucking have off seasons. Like real celebrities also can work out twice a day and have like a personal chef and do all this shit. It's sad that health and wellness is practically a luxury uh in the u.s yeah well that's what happens when our diet is shit across the board also celebrities go on trend too yeah or clenbuterol or anavar i mean it depends but yeah no uh, like i think a lot of celebrities including but not limited to uh you know brown marvel superheroes <clears throat> will do steroids Yeah, Kumail, it's all good. No, not Simu. No, I don't think Simu took steroids at all. The shade? I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with, like, I, I, I am not a... Listen, yeah, Boomer, oi, no, slandering my Pakistani brother. No, I, I love, I love what he did. But... Also, Simu's not brown. Chatters is Asian. We gotta get the we gotta get the Asian viewership numbers up in this fucking community. After that's what I learned le yesterday. Asians can be brown. I mean, yes, Kumail Nanjani is literally an example of a brown Asian person. But I was specifically saying brown. Shut the fuck up, chatter. We need to get the Asian numbers up and we need to get the the uh black numbers up as well. There's a there's a there's not enough black people in this community. Okay. We need more black chatters in here. Latinas have always been a, a, a solid constituency in here, so that has not changed. That has been the same pretty much.
do new demo polls soon. I did it last night. And it was a fucking mistake. Anyway, um, but yeah, there isn't really too much going on other than that. Uh, it's my mom's birthday tonight. And, uh, you know, that's exciting. My whole family's, my dad is about to be here. Coming from Turkey. Uh, Elon Musk is a terrible person. Yes. Don't look at those polls so closely. It's not a random selection. You know, so many factors change it. No, I mean, that's pretty good. We need to get the Muslim numbers up too. Yeah, we have lost. I think I've, I think I've banned too many Turks from the chat. But anyway, let's fucking blast off. Trump testifies. Conservatives continue melt down. Conservatives continue melting down. And Chris falls he in the building. Gus is unionizing distribution abilities and the more Don actually has a really small penis true literally true takes one to know one is what I was going to say but this guy already said that I have a very very small penis is what he said fucking Anyway, uh, Trump testifies because everything's continuing to melt down, and uh, Chris Malls will be in the building to discuss unionizing Amazon distribution facilities and more. Um, plus, I will be reclaiming my throne on multiverses later. Now. Anyone have a good blast off meme? Um, Sandy Hook lawyer, I was going to have uh, this week, but he's fucking too busy, dude. He went big time on my ass. So he went on TYT and he, he changed up. You know what I'm saying? So we will probably, we will probably have, um, probably have him on this weekend. The funniest thing about the the age demographics that we found out uh, from yesterday's survey that we did, because you know we do a, a Hassan census, sense Haas, as some people were calling it. Um, the funniest thing we found out is that the plus thirty age range is like now the largest group, rather than the the uh, like I think. I think in the past it was like 21 to 25 was my largest age range and the plus 30 age group is actually which is gigantic when you think about it but like plus 30 age group is actually now uh like one percent higher than that it's still 21 to 25 is like the second largest but still Actually, the funniest thing we found out is that 72% are below 30 and these kids are slagging. I mean, yeah, there's 72% of my audience is still under the age of 30. But considering the reality that this is a community on Twitch, what's your girl to guy watcher ratio? Uh, I think uh, the girl numbers went up, right? Was it like 24% now? 24% or 25%? I don't know. But anyway, 24% girls, 8% MBs, I think. The MB numbers went up. But dudes rise up. You know what I mean? Dudes rise up. Rise up, dudes. Dude gang. We're still fucking heavily duded up in here. Do 
Do you think it depends on the content you're covering? We've been on some mainstream Trump shit lately, so that naturally attracts a lot of adults, I think. Yeah, probably. Anyway, juice this. It's just funny because I know Haas Twit or Hassan Twitter. Like my my Twitter audience is like primarily much, much younger. Um, the most active people on Twitter that are in my uh in my audience and my community are are much younger. So people ultimately think like my entire community is like 14 or whatever. I mean they're much younger is like they're, you know, 18. 18 to like 21, but um versus I did a thing with this. What is this? Oh my god, dude. This sound this is devastating. What what the fuck? Also, one thing that we found out, one thing that we actually fucking found out that is pretty wild. The arts department, cool Hassan t-shirt, the Hassaning, here's Pecker. What the fuck? Funny. I like that. You banned all the juicers, that's why? Yeah, no. The the fallout from uh me and me and Juice Lord uh in the aftermath of like crypto gambling and 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 uh, the tearless saga has made this community even older, I think. Dude, I think a lot of us are in me 27, mid 20s, 30s. What, you keep us all insane while corporate abuses us? What? This is an insane fucking sport. Like this. The person who goes to the gym every single day, regardless of how they feel, will always beat the person who goes to the gym when they feel like going to the gym. The man who goes to the gym every single day, regardless of how he feels, will always beat the man who goes to the gym when he feels like going to the gym. Isn't it interesting how winners always understand each other? Wait, The Rock is quoting Cobra Tate? I heard this. What is this? Is this like fucking bald solidarity or something? Like, I don't understand. I'm pretty sure Andrew Tate didn't come up with that, by the way. Um, speaking of Andrew Tate, here's Andrew Tate at the club. Dude, my, my new favorite, my new Rare favorite thing, Andrew my new favorite thing is, uh, Andrew Tate slander, where they just, like, find random bald guys everywhere and go, wow, look at Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate doing this. Down at a club. And I refuse to believe that this is not Andrew Tate. Like, I will always assume that this is Andrew Tate. You find a fucking kind of slim, in shape, bald guy, like with sunglasses on with a shape up that's andrew tate rare footage of andrew tate it's not tate it's just like you you fucking find anyone you find anyone Anyone that's like bald and kind of looks like it could be him. I already watched this yesterday, Young Peasy. Anyone that's like bald and kind of looks like Andrew Tate doing like weird shit. Most hate Andrew Tate is because he's bringing back the strong masculinity. Yeah, like this. I love this. <laughs> Have you seen a successful Twitch channel? It's called Northern Lion. It's wild. <laughs> Good one. Lanye in his chaotic era. I mean, this is kind of cool. Like, I don't know if this is a L. Kanye West, Lil Uzi Vert, and Steve Lacey got matching tattoos that say we here forever technically. I do think that that's fire. That's not a L. Why would this be a fucking L? This is a dub. Steve Lacey's cool. Like, Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, they, them, King or the emperor you know what i mean like great who cares they are all gemini's or something i don't fucking know any of that shit but you know 
Kanye is 50 years old. I think you guys got to remember, like, when you are, when you're fucking Kanye West, when you're in uh, that, when you're in entertainment, like, you, you just age differently. It doesn't matter. You do, like, what is this? Mike Marzelli, age 12, 5'1", 100 pounds, celebrity idol, Andrew Tate. Oh, God. Um, are you not supposed to get tattoos at 50? Yeah, at this point, it, like, it, it literally doesn't matter. I think like our understanding, maybe it's because I'm older and this is copium for me, right? But like our understanding of, of I mean, this is childish, 100%. Kid Cudi meant to play funeral, but fearful uh, of bottle throwers. Yeah, that, that was like fucked up. Kanye's a grown ass man acting like this and y'all eating it up. Skeet Davison dead at age 28. Yeah, we'll talk about Kanye in a second. We'll talk about Kanye in a second. Chance had a good take about billionaires. Yeah, I what? Think people underestimate the difference between a millionaire and a billionaire. Severely. Severely underestimate the difference. Um, because they just don't understand. Um, but yeah, no. What you asking? I mean, yeah. People think that like the difference between someone making zero dollars and a Twitch streamer is the same as is the same as like between uh, a Twitch streamer and a billionaire. It's like no, it, it is incomprehensible. It is in fucking comprehens. The difference is incomprehensible. I don't know what the fuck he's gonna say. He's probably gonna make a joke, but. Anyway. Like, should I say, like, they should be taxed higher? I was asking, how, how do you personally feel about them? I saw some video um, of some extremely rich person. Mm -hmm. I don't know who they were. Um, basically going on saying, like, that they'd be completely okay with getting taxed more. And that all the other, like, extremely wealthy people um, are bitching and whining about it. And it's fucking stupid. I agree with her. I'd be okay with getting taxed a little higher too, but like it, it does become frustrating when someone like they talk about, I talk about like how rich Jeff Bezos is and people throw my name into that pile. I'm like, are you wait, this is not a bad. Why did you guys say this was bad? He didn't say a bad thing. Basically going on saying like that they'd be completely okay with getting taxed more. And that all the other, like, extremely wealthy people um, are bitching and whining about it, and it's fucking stupid. I agree with her. I'd be okay with getting... I agree with her. It's probably, like, uh, Disney, uh, Walt Disney's granddaughter, who's, like, kind of cool, actually. Um, yeah, he's talking about the Disney heiress, who's, like, low-key kind of nice with it. tax a little higher too but like it, it does become frustrating when someone like they talk about i talk about like how rich jeff bezos is and people throw my name into that pile I'm like are you are you, okay i mean he's right he's 100 percent right the problem is that people don't have like people on twitch are are neats for the most part like a lot of people are neats and the only thing they fucking know the only thing they know is like Twitch streamers. So they think like, oh, this Twitch streamer made like a million dollars a year, which is a fuckload of money. That is an insane amount of money. That is incredible. Like that's, of course, is like people make that over the course of their entire fucking lives. You know what I mean? That's like, that's how much money that shit is. Okay. And yet, the difference between a million and a billion is unimaginable, okay? It is unimaginable. The difference between a million and multiple millions is still insane. Ultimately, though, if you are a leftist, you're... Ultimately, though, if you're a leftist, your attitude should not revolve exclusively around, like, uh, how much money someone is making, but more so how they're making their money through a series of, of exploitative practices, 
uh, gaming the system, changing, uh, I mean, or the system is already designed to benefit the, the ultra wealthy regardless. Difference between 18 and 21 and 30 plus. Yeah. A million a second is 12 days. A million seconds is 12 days. A billion seconds is 31 years. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good way to put it. A million seconds is 12 days. A billion seconds is 31 years. There you go. That's a really, really good way to look at it. Uh, didn't. Didn't they, didn't, uh, what's his face do that? The guy, the, the British guy. Describing it as 1000 millions also gets people to realize how large it is also. Yeah. I mean, but not really because you're still associating it with a million. Uh. Um, a lot of ways people have tried to describe it in a lot of ways, but again, it doesn't even matter though. My main point always is like, my main point always has been around. Like it's, it has become, you could technically make now, uh, with the way inflation works with the way that like capitalism works, you could technically make a billion dollars literally doing specifically labor. Uh, it's incredibly difficult. But some athletes have been able to, I believe, reach that. They have like $500 million contracts and shit like that. You know what I mean? But ultimately, uh, that, that number is almost never reached without... Um, Wait, dude, why are you sending me the clip again? Rest of the clip? Frustrating when someone like rich Jeff Bezos is and people throw my name into that pile. Look at, my, like, look at the Haas raids in the chat. Okay. You're so stupid, you deserve to be poor. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking, guys. <laughs> like he's joking. My holy fuck. <laughs> he's joking. He's <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god, soda's great, dude. He's funny yeah, as fuck. Yeah. Say something like that. <laughs> yeah. So wealth only comes from exploitation. Yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, uh, that level of wealth is almost always like completely fucking uh, uh, exploitative. There's no way. Like reaching a billion dollars off of your fucking uh, wage labor is, is pretty much unheard of, pretty much impossible. The difference between a million and a billion is about a billion. Yeah. Which, of course, doesn't fucking matter because uh, uh, the, the reality is like anytime we have this kind of conversation, anytime we have this conversation, people, um, anytime we have this conversation, people are like, nah, shut up, dude. I don't give a fuck. Like, fuck you. I make fucking 15 grand a year. Fuck yourself. Like, you're just, you're just saying this to not make yourself... You're just saying this to not make yourself look evil. Like, no, I, I'm evil, bro. If you want to think that, then go ahead. You know what I mean? I think it's naive to say that LeBron is a billionaire only by his work, not exploiting others. No, I, I agree. I think that LeBron and his entire wealth, his entire net worth is not because of his fucking contracts. But a big chunk, the overwhelming majority of his of his wealth still comes from his one contract with the NBA, like his his, you know, his actual contract, which would be his wages. OK, and his Nike contract. You get it? I'm not saying that, like, I, I don't believe that there is a I don't believe that there is actually like a, a, a fucking uh, labor billionaire out there. I'm simply stating that it's not impossible anymore. But even then, that is a consequence of how well designed this system is. Do you understand? Like how much this system uh, has, has gotten out of control 
in the way that uh, wealth distribution works. <laughs> My man said, is salary, not wages. What do you mean? It's salary, not wages, dude. You, what, what, what the fuck does that even mean? Okay. It's you just described the same thing. Like you literally said it's salary, not wages. Like, what, what are you talking about? It's, it's a, it's a fancier name for the same thing. LeBron makes, how, let's see, let's see what LeBron's like contract is, right? And I don't think LeBron is like a billionaire because of his labor, obviously. Okay. But let's see LeBron James salary, right? LeBron makes $41 million. He's making $41 million in 2022 just off of his salary. This is his wages, right? Now, that, that number is insanely high. Why is that number insanely fucking high? Well, part of the reason why his number is insanely fucking high is because he has, they have players unions. One, because sports is the closest you can achieve to a meritocracy, which is still not a full-blown meritocracy. Obviously, that does not exactly, uh, that doesn't, you know, that's not real. It's not a real concept. But $41 million, like LeBron making $41 million implies that his fucking bosses, okay, the actual person who owns uh, uh, the, the Lakers is making billions of fucking dollars. Do you understand? There is no place on this fucking planet. There is no one on this planet under capitalism that works for a profitable corporation that is getting paid the adequate wages that they are generating. That includes even LeBron James all the way down to the guy who is cleaning the fucking toilets inside of the crypto.com arena. Do you get it? That's the entire purpose of profits as we've described time and time again. So because of how fucking high uh, salaries can get in the NBA, how high salaries can get in... Uh, football and all this other shit um i'm saying that that could you could have in the next decade or so you could have technically labor billionaires like literally billionaires that have a billion fucking dollars off of just without any other additional properties which lebron of course still has lebron is a team owner himself he has like percentage stake ownership in other sports teams. LeBron owns multiple properties. You know what I mean? He he is so fucking wealthy that when you get to a level of wealth like that, um, when you get to a level of wealth like that, you 100% have money managers and you have capital earnings. You have investments and your money is making money for you. Okay? So it's, you know, he's 100% not just a fucking wage laborer. Do you understand? Such a dumb waste of time combo for leftists to have. It's up to people like this whose side they are on. It should not concern us. Um, no, the reason why I use this as an opportunity is because I, I always think that uh, this is an incredibly... Like, this is the type of person who everyone is aware of, right? And he's a controversial figure. Either people love him or they fucking hate him. But ultimately, everyone knows who the fuck LeBron James is. So using this and using player unions, for example, as a successful and adequate example of like the power of collective bargaining is, I think, a really good agitated propaganda and educational uh, opportunity. Because I could talk about fucking Steve Adores. I could talk about Steve Adores all goddamn day, okay? I could talk about the Teamsters all goddamn day. But a lot of people don't know what the fuck that is, who those people are, and cannot comprehend that. They cannot visualize that, but everybody knows who the fuck LeBron is. You get it? That's the reason why I, that, that is the reason why I talk about it, because I do think it's a good opportunity. I think people underestimate the difference. Oh, I closed the wrong clip. Can you guys give me the soda, the money out of politics clip again? Um, LeBron is a special occasion. There's thousands of G League players getting low wages. Yeah, of course. 
Um, of course. And there's also a million other people uh, involved in the process of LeBron going out and playing basketball on the fucking court that also are, are uh, exploited as well. This is how it works. It's the same concept as me, a Twitch streamer, working as a contracted uh, employee under Amazon's umbrella at twitch.tv, making you know uh, as much money as I do a year, which is a lot. But simultaneously, it's still being made off the backs of people working inside of you know AWS facilities, people working at Amazon, janitors working at Twitch. You know what I mean? People working at Twitch. These are all other employees, like full-time employees, contracted employees that are making this system, that are making the system run. So part of that reason is why uh, you can even see, in my opinion, part of that reason is why you can also see like straight up fucking, um, uh, what do you call it? You, you can see people making, almost becoming like wage billionaires, right? Not, not close to it yet, but you could. If everyone did get paid adequate wages from what they generate, wouldn't there still be a pretty wild wealth gap in the case of LeBron and such? Yes, there would still be, there would still be people getting paid uh, a fuck ton, no matter what happens. I myself am a decent example of this as well because this is, is full-blown voluntary, right? This must be a slow day to stop, li th stop listening to my car conversation. Shut the fuck up, soda popping. More like fucking socialism popping over here. Talking about fucking the difference between millionaires and billionaires. Talking about getting money out of politics. The Let's hear what he had to this, say. These campaigns happen. Fun fact. Soda was one of the first people that ever followed me when I went on Twitch. And then he went on a mass unfollowing spree a couple months ago on Twitter. And he still has not followed me back. That's a fun fact. Well, that's not really a fun fact. It's a sad fact. And I was really excited to see him when uh, OTK was out here in LA and he never left his fucking hotel room. So I didn't even get to see him. But at least I got to see him at, at you know, mogul money. It's because they fucking work and they have money behind them to fuel it. AOC is probably not going to get that much money to fuel it. And it, that matters. I wish we lived in a world where it's like, hey, I've got yes, really good boss. ideas and I'm doing great things. Yes, please. Vote for me, but that's not it. Thank you. You too. Instead, it's, I put $5 million into commercials in this town, so I'm going to win here. This motherfucker didn't know what a Democrat was last year. Why is he talking about money and politics? What the fuck happened? What is going on right now? I don't even understand. Like, I know why Nick, whose skin looks great, by the way, just gonna, just gonna point that out. Nick, your skin looks incredible. And I'm doing great. Um, but also, a VTuber pussy changes a man? What the fuck? <laughs> What 2D pussy does to a motherfucker? Yeah, once you had that, once you had that 2D pussy, dude, all of a sudden you're talking about fucking taking money out of politics. You're talking about like super PACs and dark money and how it funds political uh, campaigns and how it impacts and influences elections, how it impacts and influences politicians. What the fuck is happening, dude? God damn. That V Tussie got him talking about socialism. <laughs> Crazy. God damn. Okay. Senator Hassanabi from California. I believe it's because things are getting wild in America. What do you believe is the right direction for America? What should be our first step? Uh, subscribing for $5 or for free at the top of the hour to avoid the fucking uh, ad break at the top of the hour every hour. 
That should be your first step. Okay, because at the top of the hour, there's a six second ad break. Now, if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. Which you can do for $5 or for free. How can you do it for free? With a Twitch Prime, that is. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription a month. Okay, wow. Just like Crowder uh, being a paywall. Yeah, dude. A 60 second paywall. Thank you, Coda Comrade, for the five tier one gifted subs. <laughs> Messed up. I love that people still get mad at me for this. Uh, Anila, thank you for the five, get the subs. Fredward, thank you for the five, get the subs. Allowing 15 people collectively to no longer see the ads. Here's the one minute ad break now. Okay. What should we do to improve society? Give me money. Okay, Hassan Pelosi. I mean, dude, my, my method for meaningful change and describing that is, is, a, is a way more complicated process than just like something I can reduce down to uh, two minutes of fucking rhetoric and commentary. This is very true. A Minecraft that who watches Hassan called that a parasocialist. Wait, what the fuck? That is what I call them. That's true. Really let people repost your vids? You're good, bro. Yeah, of course I do. I've been doing that for years. Um. Anyway. Someone said, be, car be certain, thank you for the five, uh, 10 give the subs, or, and then the five give the subs, and that makes it 15 give the subs, thank you. Um, 